Plastic surgery might sound like the perfect anti-aging tool, but when things go wrong, it can be the perfect anti-career move. Folks like Jennifer Grey, Katie Price, and others would agree with that, so let's see who had their lives ruined after going under the knife. After being catapulted to mega fame in 1987 for playing Baby in Dirty Dancing, Jennifer Grey's career stalled. And though she was personally happy with her nose and its distinct bump, she underwent plastic surgery at the age of 29 to boost her career and gain more acting roles. But Jennifer said it actually ended up being the surgery that affected her ability to get jobs. Quoting, I went into the operating room a celebrity and came out anonymous. She told publications in 2012 that it was the nose job from hell, and she'll always be this once famous actress nobody recognizes because of a nose job. After her first surgery, turns out she was thrilled with the way she looked. But then less than a year later, she noticed a tiny bit of cartilage was visible under the surface of her nose, so she underwent a second surgery to correct the issue. But when she woke up, she discovered that she no longer looked like herself at all. To make matters worse, when the public got wind of the situation, the star felt humiliated as many people did not believe she was Jennifer Grey anymore, and she often had to go to great lengths to prove she was who she said she was. Ah, Kylie Jenner. The Keeping Up with the Kardashian star has basically grown up in the spotlight, so her transformation from tween to teen and now a 20-something mother has all been before our very eyes. Which means it's hard not to notice the drastic changes to Kylie's appearance in the more than 10 years since the show first aired in 2007. Well, fans have speculated about Kylie having undergone everything from lip filler to a Brazilian butt lift, it's hard to separate fact from fiction when it comes to her ever-changing aesthetic. But after years of denying she'd had lip filler, the star eventually came clean about that particular cosmetic touch-up. During a 2015 episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Kylie admitted, I have temporary lip fillers, it's just an insecurity of mine and it's what I wanted to do. But it's a little bit sad when you look at why she got it done. She said, I was 15 and I was insecure about my lips. I have really small lips. And it was like one of my first kisses and a guy was like, I didn't think you would be a good kisser because you have such small lips. She also admitted that she definitely made her lips a little too big at one point before her sisters pointed it out and said, Kylie, you need to chill. They were definitely right to let her know when it was becoming too much. Since becoming a household name as a glamour model back in the 90s, Katie Price's brand has become synonymous with plastic surgery. As the 44-year-old status has risen over the last two decades, so has the number of times she's gone under the knife, leaving her now completely unrecognizable from her former self. But Katie has always been honest about the work she's had done, like the fact that she's had a whopping 12 boob jobs over the last 25 years, and she got the first one when she was just 18. But a trip to Turkey for one of the procedures resulted in a botched boob job. She's also had veneers done, and in June of last year, Katie endured one of her most ambitious rounds of surgery yet, as she underwent another facelift on the same day she also treated herself to liposuction and fat injections to her rear end. The TV personality is also a big fan of Botox and has underwent an eye and brow lift that left her face with a sharp, tight look. Plastic surgery is totally synonymous with this brand, and although Katie has said many times that she has no plans to stop going under the knife, just by looking at old pictures, it's easy to see that she looked a lot better before. Donatella Frisace is a fashion icon who has been in the public eye for decades and has undergone a striking transformation over the years. The skin on her face appears to be very tight and smooth with few wrinkles, probably from a couple of facelifts. Also, her cheeks have gotten a lot fuller, which are probably the result of cheek implants or dermal fillers. But the problem is, a lot of the work she gets is not balanced. So when you get a lot of filler in your lips that make her mouth really big, well, when you don't get enough filler to your cheeks, her mouth looks like completely disproportionate. Another thing, the face and the body don't match. All of her skin is leathery and saggy, and she looks scrawny rather than slim. Also, her boob job doesn't match with her body size. Famed comedian Joan Rivers was famous for constantly changing her face, but it wasn't until after she passed away that it was revealed just how many plastic surgery procedures she underwent. Her daughter Melissa penned a memoir about Joan's life, where she revealed that Joan had a staggering 348 cosmetic operations over her lifetime, and she was just never happy with the way she looked, which fed into her sense of being less than. We're talking the first surgery? It was believed to have been an eye lift at the age of 32, so not super young, but still. Which this was the same age when she rose to fame on The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson. In the nearly 50 years since then, she had, among a lot of other things, at least two facelifts, one nose job, and so much Botox that her plastic surgeon told her to stop. 
Liam Payne debuted a starkly slimmed down face on the red carpet last year, which didn't go unnoticed by fans or cosmetic surgery experts. He didn't look bad before, but his face, instead of looking soft and a little bit chubby, looked modelish and rugged, according to celebrity plastic surgeon Dr. Rampton Kassir, who's worked on the likes of Melissa Gorgia and Lele Pons. Florida-based plastic surgeon Dr. Thomas Sue added that he definitely had a more masculine look with sharper chiseled facial features compared to how he looked previously. Pamela Weinberger, founding injector at Plump Cosmetics, agreed, saying his new look is definitely sharper than it was in the past and has a bit of a wow factor. So the experts that were just quoted, who have decades of experience combined but have not worked on him personally, agree that he might have turned to fillers or the celebrity favorite, the getting rid of that fat in your cheek, to achieve his sharp features. One expert said that he might have opted for jawline filler, lip filler, chin filler, and regular maintenance Botox, which is a lot. Whereas Sue pointed out that it might have been chin and jawline lipo, which could achieve the sharper jawline. Getting rid of the fat in your cheeks is not reversible. And while a lot of experts agree that there are alternatives that could be attempted to return the facial structure back to its natural look, it's not a guarantee. While Liam himself has not confirmed what he's had done, if anything at all, folks on social media appear upset that he no longer looks the same. One person said, OMG, what happened to Liam? And this was under an Instagram post. And another fan tweeted, the fat removal makes me so uncomfortable. I don't know that man. Daryl Hannah has maintained that she's never had anything enhanced surgically, but the public has often compared her to one of the Muppets because of her full lips and cheeks. Top surgeons also spoke with Hollywood Life and explained the potential surgeries that the splash actress received to achieve her current look. One expert, Dr. Richard Fleming, shared that Hannah had so much work done. We're talking fillers, nose jobs. Her face looks much rounder. Everything about her face used to be much thinner. Cheeks, jawline, nasal lines. Everything was much more pronounced. In his opinion, there's a lot more fullness and it's not a natural contour. He has no idea what they did, but there is filler material in there. Jocelyn Wildenstein marked the beginning of her surgery journey when she received an eye lift during the first year of her marriage to Alec Wildenstein. Experts said she probably has undergone a lot more lifts, plumping injections, upper and lower eyelid surgery, and cheek implants over the years, and it's not looking good. Priscilla Presley fell victim to a botched Botox surgery, but it turned out worse than normal. So a doctor claimed to have something better than Botox, but in reality, it was reportedly illegally smuggled silicone from Argentina that was administered by somebody pretending to be a doctor. And that explains her puffy face, but not the face's waxy look, which was probably caused by a combination of repeated laser treatments and once again, Botox. Too much Botox. At one time, Mickey Rourke was arguably the most devastatingly handsome actor in Hollywood, with the bad boy good looks of a latter day James Dean or Marlon Brando. But years of, uh, how to put it politely, alterations have gradually left him an increasingly strange looking proposition. One would have thought early on that his acting would always be infinitely more important to him than his looks, but it would seem that somewhere along the line, his vanity got the better of him. Likely a desire to keep hold of those looks that made him a pinup. Around 1990 is when his outside began to to match his tumultuous inside. His facelift looked too fresh. He was having trouble moving his mouth, and his forehead, once expressive, was way too smooth, motionless, and shiny, like a balloon dipped in bronzer. He couldn't smirk. His eyes were pinched, his crow's feet were very disturbingly gone, his eyebrows were too light, and they don't move. Turns out that eye jobs, for the first year at least, make any recipient's eyes appear smaller, and they lose any roundness below during that surgical elimination of under eye bags. Well, Mickey's eyes lost their ability to transmit emotion. In 1997, his upper lip was freakishly swollen, his nose puffy and flat, and one cheekbone protruded like a purple walnut, probably from a combination of boxing and bad surgeries. Like a bad portrait tattoo of himself, he was only recognizable when you squint. But it was around 1998 when uh, his appearance took a really weird turn. This is around the time his career had taken a dive following a series of dead rules, some poor career decisions, and a wild reputation. So during this low ebb, when he considered himself an has-been, he appeared out and about with swollen looking lips, his skin looked kinda icky. Now he did say it was boxing damage that required it, but uh. When his career began its turnaround with films like Buffalo 66, Animal Factory, and this was around 2002, his appearance had changed a lot. But recent years, though his battered appearance suited his Oscar nominated turn in The Wrestler to a T, have seen his visage looking stranger and stranger. At number 10, Amanda Lepore. I love unapologetic people. I find it so refreshing when people are truly themselves and aren't afraid to hide anything. And I think that's what I like the most about Amanda Lepore. Amanda Lepore is a transgender model, performer, and now author who made a name for herself in Hollywood just by being herself. 
She's known for having a very signature look and she's basically become a living Barbie doll. Much of Amanda's body has been altered over the years as she claims to have the most expensive body on the planet due to all of her surgeries. It's not clear how much she spent exactly, but judging by how she looks and the fact that she's been calling her body the most expensive on earth, I think it's safe to say that she's invested a lot of money into herself. She's written and talked about all the procedures that she's had done and it's quite a long list. She's had a nose job, her hairline lowered, her eyebrows lifted, double eyelid surgery, cheekbone, lip and breast augmentation, gender confirmation surgery, hormones, and she even had her ribs broken and reshaped to alter the size of her waist. Amanda prides herself on being a living Barbie doll and really doesn't regret any of her procedures, even though they were all very expensive. At number nine, Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn Jenner has gone through many transformations in her life. As you all probably know, Caitlyn is transgender and her transition most likely set her back a pretty hefty amount. While we don't know the exact amount that she spent on her transition, I think it's safe to say that no amount of money even compares to the feeling of having your outside appearance match who you are on the inside. There have been some people out there who have really been curious to see exactly how much Caitlyn has spent on her plastic surgeries over the years, including her confirmation surgeries. It is estimated that Caitlyn has spent approximately $76,000 on her cosmetic surgeries. Between fillers, facelifts, and a handful of other procedures, a lot of money has been invested into Caitlyn's appearance, and the fact that she's dished out $76,000 on these kinds of things shows that she will go to great lengths to make herself look as perfect as she pleases. Again, it is a lot of money, but I can imagine for Caitlyn, it's worth every penny. Now, before I carry on with the list, I would like to take a moment to ask you guys to consider leaving a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far, and also head on over to my gaming channel, Viper Girl, if you're interested in gaming content. I've got lots of fun things going on over there, so go check it out and subscribe while you're there. At number eight, Justin Jedlica. Imagine spending over $1 million on yourself, and I don't mean shelling out a million dollars on clothes, shoes, and a nice car. Justin and Jethika, known as the real life Ken doll, got famous because he received so many plastic surgeries and has spent so much money achieving his goal of becoming a real life Ken doll. For him, the more plastic he looks, the better, and really, that is the exact goal. Justin was on the show Botched very early on in the show's first season, making his debut in the series' first episode. He said that he's received over a thousand surgeries to achieve the look that he has now, and there's no sign of him stopping his transformation anytime soon. As for how much he spent, well, there's no exact number since his procedures are always happening, but Justin has said that he's invested over a million dollars into his looks. Could you imagine spending all that money on plastic surgery? And would you guys ever do something like this? Let me know down in the comments. At number seven, Jocelyn Wildenstein. Imagine spending millions of dollars to look like a cat. Just sit with that one for a second and let that process. Yes, one of the most dramatic celebrity appearances which comes from socialite Jocelyn Wildenstein was modeled after a cat and cost over $4 million. Jocelyn started her plastic surgery journey when she decided to get work done to look like a cat because her late husband was a big cat lover. She reportedly kept a lynx as a pet and recalled that the big cat's eyes were just so perfect and so she wanted to look just like it. Unfortunately, she went a little too far with her look and she's been left looking pretty botched, which is unfortunate seeing how she invested so much money into her looks. What makes this even crazier though is the fact that she claims that she's not done getting plastic surgery, so she's willing to spend even more money on her appearance. At number six, Donatella Versace. I've talked about Donatella Versace and her plastic surgery a fair bit on this channel. We know how she looks following getting plastic surgery, we know what procedures she's had done, and we know that the results haven't been the greatest. Sometimes going plastic just makes things worse rather than better. But one more question regarding her plastic surgery remains, and that is how much did it all cost? Well, though there's no exact amount, it is believed that Donatella has spent over $25,000 on trying to improve and maintain her appearance. That is a lot of money, but when you think about the results that she's been left with, it makes that high cost so much worse. She's mostly received facelifts over the years, so to think that she's dropped so much money to only go back and get more work done because the effects didn't last is actually kind of sad. At number five, Kylie Jenner. Kylie Jenner is one of those celebrities who's considered a trendsetter. Whenever she steps out with a new piece of clothing or a new hairstyle, people just want to be like her and copy her. Because she's a trendsetter, there's pressure to look perfect all the time, and this is where cosmetic surgery came to play in her life. 
The one procedure that she's known for having is lip fillers. She became the it girl when it came to the big lip trend, and it even got so intense that people were trying to imitate her large lips by creating the dangerous Kylie Jenner lip challenge. On top of her lip filler, there has been speculation and theories thrown around about what other procedures she's had done. Though she's only admitted to getting fillers, it is also believed that she's gotten work done to her body to achieve the curves that she has like her Kardashian sisters. Now because she's never admitted to getting anything done other than her lips, it's hard to say for sure exactly how much her appearance costs, but some people out there have crunched the numbers and estimate that Kylie has spent over $2 million on her plastic surgery transformations. Now that is a lot of lip kits. At number four, Cher. Cher is really out here like she's never heard of the concept of time. This woman does not age at all and it's honestly a little scary. Okay, okay, I'm getting a little carried away, but you have to admit she looks immaculate for a woman in her mid 70s, right? Well, other than her being the queen of everything, she's also invested a lot of money into herself and her looks in order to look as great as she does. Over the years, Cher has received a neck lift, multiple facelifts, cheek implants, breast augmentation, liposuction, Botox, other injectables, and lasers, but even after all that, people still can't get over how good she looks. She's been able to get all of this work done to look younger, and yet she still doesn't look too plasticky. Well, I would expect nothing but perfection if I was Cher and spent over a million dollars on plastic surgery. Yeah, it is a lot of money, but clearly it was money well spent. At number three, Michael Jackson. The late Michael Jackson lived a hugely successful life, and he was known for a lot from his music to his stage presence to his looks. Over the course of his career, Michael's appearance changed drastically when he got into plastic surgery. After going under the knife a few times, he was left looking nothing like his past self, and this took a lot of money to achieve. So much so that he ended up in debt because of it. It has been reported that Michael has spent over $1.5 million on plastic surgery. Some of the procedures Michael was known to have received include a nose job, skin lightening to match his vitiligo, as well as reshaping his jaw and altering his lips and eyes. In in the end, his physical appearance changed drastically, but his talent remained the same, which is really the important thing here. At number two, Heidi Montag. Heidi Montag became a star when she was cast on the MTV show The Hills, and since she became a public figure, there was soon a lot of pressure to look a certain way in the industry. Looks are always considered as one of the things that keeps your career afloat, and so there's a lot of pressure to look perfect. Because of the insecurity she was experiencing, both from being a public figure and from her doctor, Heidi ended up going under the knife for 10 plastic surgery sessions in just one day. She got so much work done that the trauma was too much for her body to handle, and she actually flatlined for one minute while on the operating table. After all that, when she re-emerged with her new look, people criticized her heavily for it, and Heidi even saw parts of herself as botched. Now, I think the worst part about this whole mess is the fact that she spent so much money on this whole transformation. It is believed that Heidi spent around $10 million on her plastic surgery and it was all for her just to say that she didn't like it and for the public to make nasty comments. If I spent that much money and I didn't come out with amazing results, I would have been so mad. And finally at number one, Kris Jenner. Everyone knows Kris Jenner as Hollywood's hardest working momager. She's been able to raise and manage her kids, helping them grow into the big stars that they are today. The Kardashians are all considered trendsetters when it comes to their looks, so obviously Kris had to join in on the fun, right? Like many of her kids, Kris has undergone a handful of cosmetic surgeries over the years, and she's also shelled out quite a bit of money for it as well. It's been reported that Chris has received a breast augmentation, chin lift, neck lift, face lift, lasers, Botox, and other injectables to create the ageless person that we see today. And all of this comes with a hefty price tag of $70,000. That's a lot of money to turn back time, but Chris looks pretty good and she clearly has the money to do it, so who am I to judge? So starting off our list today at number 10, we have Kim Kardashian. For years now, it seems like the Kardashian family has denied having any sort of procedures done, which is baffling because just having one look at the family, you can tell that they have definitely had a lot of work done to achieve their looks. While Kim has continued to go on and claim that she hasn't had any butt injections, she has claimed to getting cortisone shots to help her with her psoriasis. In 2022, during her cover interview with Allure, 
she would explain that she had a little bit of Botox done and that's exactly what she's done to her face over the years. She then went on to deny any other procedures after she said she chilled on all the Botox lately. She then went on to claim that she's never had eyelash extensions and went on to say, I've never done anything. I have a drop of mascara on today, I've never filled my cheeks, I've never filled my lips, but do we actually really believe her? Number 9. Chrissy Teigen Chrissy Teigen has been pretty open about her plastic surgery when she first started to admit to her procedures back in 2017 when she told Refinery29 that she had her armpit sucked out and when her fat came back she had to pay for liposuction again so she could feel more confident when she wore her dresses. Then in 2019, the star would take to her Instagram to post that she would be removing her chest implants as she wanted to be able to zip into a dress size that was actually her size. And then again in 2021, the star would take to her Instagram again to share that she had the fat removed from her cheeks when she said, I did that Dr. Diamond buckle fat removal thing here and since I quit drinking, I'm really seeing the results. Chrissy then went on to point to the area of her cheek where the procedure had been done before adding in her caption that she had no shame in her Dr. Diamond game. Hey my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Coming at number 8, we have Khloe Kardashian. I don't think any of us really thought Khloe would admit to some of the procedures she had done on her face as we thought she was just going to conceal the truth about her work like the rest of the family seems to do. However, during an episode on Keeping Up With The Kardashian series finale reunion, the star would admit to her procedures when she said, For me, everyone says, oh my gosh, she had her third face transplant. But I've had one nose job and everyone gets so upset like, why don't I talk about it? No one's ever asked me. On her talk show Cocktails with Chloe, the star also admitted to having facial fillers dissolved when she said, my face was so effed I had to go and get this whole thing dissolved. It was a bummer and now I'm afraid to do it again. I'm also almost like I swear things are still in my face which is honestly probably true as once you alter your face, you can't go back to what you used to look like before. Number Number 7. Ashley Tisdale Have you ever noticed that Ashley Tisdale's face altered around the time she was working on the hit show Sweet Life of Zack and Cody? Well later on in Ashley's career after the rumors started to circulate around the star altering her nose, she would admit that she did have a nose job done in 2007 to fix a deviated septum. When she told people, I didn't do this because I believe in plastic surgery, I did this to help my health. I literally almost could not breathe out of my right nostril. I want I want my fans to know the truth. I'm not someone who is going to act like I have done nothing. I just want to be honest with my fans who are everything to me. And while Ashley did choose to admit that she had surgery done, she's not like most celebrities on this list today because she chose to have the cosmetics procedures done to help her health and not to improve her overall look. Number 6. Bella Hadid In her 2022 Vogue cover story, Bella Hadid would share that she regretted having her nose altered when she was just 14 years old when she said, I wish I would have kept the nose of my ancestors. I think I would have grown into it. She also went on to add that her nose job was the only procedure she has ever gotten done. And she went on to say, people think I fully effed my face because of one picture of me as a teenager looking puffy. I'm sure you don't look the same now as you did when you're 13, right? I've never used filler. Let's just put an end to that. I have no issue with it, but it's not for me. Instead, she went on to state that her lifted appearance is the result of an illusion when she said, whoever thinks I've gotten my eyes lifted or whatever, it's called face tape, the oldest trick in the book. However, while the star has admitted to her nose job, it's only a matter of time before she comes out to reveal that she also had buckle fat removal as her cheeks are looking hella sculpted lately. Number 5. Joe Jonas You think being one of the best looking men in Hollywood, Joe Jonas would have never done anything to his face, but then think again as the star has had help from injectables over the years to help combat signs of getting older. As he once told people, we're all getting older and part of it is being comfortable in our own skin. Around this time, Joe was also becoming a brand partner for Exomin, which is an anti-wrinkle injectable that temporarily improves the appearance of frown lines using a double filtered formula. Joe would also go on to admit he not only uses his treatment for
for his frown lines, but he also uses it to smooth out a scar he has between his eyebrows. Before noting that his procedure has never been over the top and that he kept things pretty light so you couldn't really tell that he has had work done. Joe actually only chose to come out about his cosmetic treatments so he can encourage other men to feel comfortable doing the same thing as he doesn't find it such a big deal and he would also state that we should all feel confident about how we look. Number 4 Courtney Cox. At one point in time, we all noticed that there was just something different about Courtney Cox. And while a lot of people just couldn't wrap their finger around it and what was different with her, some of the star's fans then started to accuse the star of having work done. While Courtney was silent for years about her cosmetic procedures, in 2017, she would finally admit to having cosmetic surgeries when she said, I've had all my fillers dissolved. I'm as natural as I can be. I feel better because I look myself. I think that I now look like the person that I was. I hope I do. Things are going to change. Everything's going to drop. I was trying to make it not drop, but that made my face look fake. You need movement in your face, especially if you have thin skin like I do. Those aren't wrinkles, they're smile lines. I've had to learn how to embrace movement and realize that fillers are not my friend, but honestly, fillers seem to be no one's friend. So it's surprising to see so many celebrities entering into the trend to get them. Number three, Marc Jacobs. Back in 2021, Marc Mark Jacobs would cause quite the public stir on Instagram after he uploaded a selfie of himself post-operation that showcased his head wrapped in bandages. The celebrity would then open up about his $50,000 facelift and his decision to publicly reveal he had gone under surgery while saying there was no shame in being vain. The designer has been sharing candid photos of his post-operative recovery on his personal Instagram account since the celebrity plastic surgeon Andrew Jacone performed his deep plane facelift on July 20th, 2021. Mark would then open up about his procedure with Vogue when he told the media outlet, I've got some scars around my ears and my face is swollen. I have a bruised neck. I'm still posting on Instagram. I don't care. I don't even see it as an effort to be transparent. I'm doing what I normally do, which is living my life and sharing it with anybody who is interested. Mark would then point out that he's been pretty honest about his changing appearance for decades and he'll continue to do so as he gets more procedures done. Number two, Tori Spelling. Back in 2021, Tori Spelling would address her expired and recalled chest implants when the actress posted a photo of herself at a plastic surgeon's office that year on November 19th. In the caption of the photo, she would say, after needing to for many years, I'm finally addressing my expired and recalled implants. Thanks for squeezing me in, Dr. Plastic Surgery. Great consult. I adore you already. Beforehand, Tori Tori had already previously shared that her implants had expired during an October episode, Wind Down with Jana Kramer. And when Tori was asked if she wanted to have new implants done, the Beverly Hills 90210 actor would say she did before noting, see, no one told me when I got that done in 10 years, you would have to get them redone. Beforehand, in 2019, Tori did address all the rumors around her changed appearance when she told people, the one thing that stuck with me forever was the plastic surgery thing. I literally had my nose done and my chest done. That's it. I'm constantly reading that I've done more. While the star has been under speculation for more procedures since she was at the age of 19, it seems like most celebrities can shake the rumors, but Tori's plastic surgery rumors have stuck with her throughout her entire career. And coming in at number one today, we have Reed Ewing. Reed Ewing once opened up about how he had a nightmare of a time struggling with body dysmorphia and the resulting horrors he faced when he attempted to use plastic surgery surgery to fix it. When the actor, who is best known for playing Dylan on Modern Family, penned an essay for the Huffington Post, he would give shocking details about how he had a pretty difficult time in his life dealing with body dysmorphic disorder. So if you don't know what body dysmorphic disorder is, it's a mental illness in which a person obsesses over the way he or she looks, thinking about their real or perceived flaws for hours each day. And for Reed, he spent years analyzing every single feature. To the point he had to make his first appointment to meet with a cosmetic surgeon when he was only 19 years old. Though he describes the doctor as being curt and uninterested in his worries, nevertheless, he decided to undergo the surgery to get a large cheek implant. After getting the surgery done, Reed would face more problems as he had to hide his face from the public to hide his disordered appearance post surgery. It also didn't help when he woke up from the surgery, all the doctor and his staff could do was laugh at the actor's appearance. 